this weekend, the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series heads to the Lone Star State in the high banks of Texas Motor Speedway. Who will win, and who's going to be faster on Saturday? Well, you're in the right place to find out. This is the NASCAR Pre-Race Show for the Truck Series race at Texas. Let's get trucking. Hello everybody, welcome to the NASCAR pre-race show for the SpeedyCash.com 250. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series is going to have their fifth race of the season this year taking place at Texas. Um, it was okay last year, the race was. They got a great finish between uh, Eckes and Friesen, Stuart Friesen got the win he's looking to defend that and he comes into this race outside the playoffs if i'm not mistaken so uh it, it'd be big for him to uh to repeat i want to take a look at the entry list look at some notable guys here one that's really standing out is chad chastain ross's brother he will be in 41 for these motorsports you also have guys like brett holmes mason massey ryan pargus uh, matt mills trey hutchins um chris wright Armani Williams in the 46, Tyler Hill in the 56. Uh, a few guys there that are making starts that don't normally make starts, at least maybe not in those respective rides. Um, so I just wanted to, uh, to touch on those. Um, as for the weekend schedule, I'll never get why in the, NAS in in the top three series of NASCAR, why every practice and every qualifying session can't be broadcast. I will never understand that. Um, at least make it available on the app. I don't know what Fox Sports 2 has going on on the Saturday in April. Um, FS1 has extending cup coverage that morning from Richmond, so I understand why it's not on FS1, but still, that's frustrating. Practice is at 10.30 Eastern, qualifying at 11 Eastern. The race is at 4.30 Eastern. Obviously, it's on TV. Fox Sports 1, MRN, and Sirius XM and NASCAR Radio. Texas is a 1.5 mile track. Caution and pit road speed 55 miles an hour. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the standings. Next, Zane Smith is the regular season points leader by two over time. Jeske, Dennis Rhodes, Eckes, Enfinger, Crafton, Ancrum, De Benedetto, Heim, and Tanner Gray. But I focus on the playoff standings. The two guys currently locked into the NASCAR Craftsman at Truck Series playoffs, Zane Smith and Christian Eckes. Uh, Kyle Busch won at Vegas. Obviously, he's a cup regular, so four races in. The other guy that's not locked in, well, it's not another guy because Zane Smith has already won twice this year. Last year, won at Daytona and Coda. Won the championship. This year, he's won at Daytona and Coda. If he wins at Kansas in a few months, or not a few months, a month and a half, Field's duped. I think they're already duped. I've been saying that this is A. Smith's Truck Series world, and you know they're just all living it. And he's only two points ahead in the regular season. I know there's still guys, but the way I see it, like Majeski and Rhodes are really his only big challengers. Maybe Eckes, but then you have this another tier of like Enfinger, Crafton, De Benedetto, Heim, Anchor, and Purdy, the, the Gray Bros, Friesen, Hosebar. I might consider sliding Husavar up into that elite category, which I don't think there's really truly three elite drivers in trucks in terms of the regulars, and that's Zane Smith, Ty Majeski, and Rhodes. Eckes, with how good they ran, is kind of teetering on the edge of that first tier, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, Eckes locked in with his win at Atlanta, um, and he's also won a couple stages, if I'm not mistaken. So he's uh, he's fast. He, he won stage one at Coda, and then had an issue right after and ended up 30th. Which I believe is his first finish outside the top 10. So they have speed. Uh, but Zane Smith and Christian Eckes, obviously the top two in the playoff standings. Ben, Ro or sorry, Ty Majeski right now is the first guy in on points through four races, which we are over a sixth of the way in the season now, just in case you feel like time's flying. It is. This will be race number five. Ty Majeski plus 59. Ben Rhodes plus 43. Enfinger plus 24. This is where it kind of narrows up. Crafton in six plus 23. Then Tyler Ankrum plus seven in seventh. De Benedetto uh, in 8th, plus 5. Heim, plus 3 in ninth, And then Tanner Gray is plus 0. So he has a slight tie break with Chase Purdy. Purdy is 11th, minus 0. 
Um, Nick Sanchez in 12th and 9 points out. He, I think he can make the playoffs, guys. And then the two most surprising guys outside of it, I'd say Purdy's a, kind of a bit of a surprise. I think I had him sneaking in. I don't know if to Benedetto or Anchor, maybe even Crafton and Tanner Gray. I don't know if they'll have enough um, to make it in. Um, I'm feeling great if I'm Rhodes and Majeski. Obviously, I guess it's Ainsmith Lugan. I think Majeski and Rhodes are shoe ins. And Finger, Crafton, almost shoe ins. And then Ankrum, DeBenedetto, Corey Hunt, Tanner Gray, Chase Purdy, Nick Sanchez. They're kind of guys that, yeah, I thought they'd be on the bubble. I thought Josevar would be a shoe in to make the playoffs. I thought Stuart Friesen would be one of those, like, basically a shoe in guys to make the playoffs. Uh, Friesen's 13th, 24 points out. Josevar's 14th, 25 points out. So obviously, they, they can make those up, you know. A little more than two stages that's that's something you can make up in a race or you could just win but no surprise in there timmy hill how about the intimidator uh 30 back in 15th colby howard 32 back in 16th jake garcia he missed a race he's 17th 42 points back then you have Haley Deegan, who is um 18th 42 back gotta see something out of her gotta see something out of her. i believe 12th was her best finish this of the season so far this past weekend at Coda, road courses actually seem to be kind of like her, her place where she actually runs pretty well. She was in the top 10, so got her top 10 in Mid-Ohio last year. So uh, more road courses being on the NASCAR schedule this year is really beneficial for her. Daniel Dye, 42 back in 19th. I, mean, I thought he'd be better than this. I also thought Raja Karuth would be better than the GMS truck. 20th, 45 back. I like Raja. He seems like a great guy. I think he has a lot of potential, a lot of talent. But if he wants to separate himself from, like, Jack Wood, who ran around, maybe a little worse than he was running, but ran around 20th last year in a GMS truck, a truck that Enfinger won races in and made the second round of the playoffs in, a truck that's championship capable. I mean, Moffitt won a truck, won a championship in, in that truck, so he's got to do better. Um, but I, I like Kit. I, I think he could, uh, could win one of these super speedways. Um, we'll see. Chris Wright, Wallace Allen, Brett Holmes, Gabe Honeycutt, Boyd Thompson, Taylor Gray, and all the rest of these guys make up the rest of the Truck Series field. As for the manufacturer standings, even though Zane Smith has already won two races, Chevrolet, I think largely helped by uh, Kyle Busch winning at Vegas. Uh, the Bowtie Brigade still up by two over Ford, which I'm very happy to see. They lead the manufacturer standings in both the Cup and Truck Series, and Xfinity, I think it's, uh, is it Toyota? Or is it Chevy? It's sure as heck not Ford. Uh, Chevy's two up on Ford. They are 14 up on Toyota. Toyota 12 points back on Ford. Losing, uh, losing Torchport was big. And KBM, obviously, was, that, those are both huge for, uh, for, uh, for Toyota. So who do I think is going to win this race? Who do I think is going to win the pole? I don't do practice picks. That's kind of stupid to me because practice isn't really something that you're all out trying to go win. Obviously, you want to be fast. But that's really for more for handling the handling the truck. I believe practice 20 or 30 minutes, something like that. Not a lot of time to, to dial in your truck. Pole. Um, hmm. I think Ben Rhodes. No. I think Ty Majeski is going to win this pole. Um, Rhodes hasn't been great in qualifying this year. Majeski has been all right, so I, I'll go with him. Rhodes is really frustrated for the starting spot at Coda and still got a top five. Um, as for the win pick, it's hard to not pick Zane Smith. He was 32nd this race a year ago. I'm pretty sure he wrecked. I think every race where he finished outside the top 10 last year, it was because of a wreck. Um, he had 19 top 10s in 23 races. It's so hard not to pick Zane Smith, but at this point, how can you pick against him? I think he'll get his third one of the years in the, in the, in the fifth race. I really do. I think Friesen will be up there. Hosevar was in the top five last year. Rhodes, Majeski, they'll all be players. As far as underdogs, give me Nick Sanchez. He's going to be my underdog pick for a little bit, and it might be a little foolish to call him an underdog, but he's been racing really well to start the year. Rookie, um, maybe some Rajah Kruth, maybe even some Haley Deegan. She was up in the top 15 a little bit here the last year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so maybe maybe those guys can uh, you know can do something here and and uh, have a good points day at Texas. So that's it for the show, guys. Leave your poll and win picks in the comments below. Uh, be sure to check the below the on podcast and history buffs episode tonight. Uh, or came out already, and then a midweek episode uh, later uh, tomorrow. And then a preview. That that's a Cup Series podcast, but there's an Xfinity and Cup pre-race show. Uh, that will be going on it's 30 on thursday cup on friday because there's probably going to be penalties tomorrow and there's a hendrick appeal tomorrow so 
Um, if there's not a video tomorrow, like just an explicit like YouTube only video, then the podcast will be the video for this week or Thursday. Uh, but make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share the video, and show it to friends, family, anyone you know who likes NASCAR. Go listen to the on podcast. They're all right here on YouTube, um, all in a playlist, all 18 episodes, and they go chronologically with the NASCAR Cup Series season. Uh, me and Emily, uh, co-host Emily, my cousin Emily Long, um, helps me out with that. So. Um, that's all you got for this video and, and more Texas and Richmond stuff all throughout the week. Gonna be fun on the trucks. Kinda gotta be different to go to Texas, but I'm okay with it. Um, yeah, I'm Stella Tools, I'm Spotter Stan. God bless, peace out, bye, and subscribe.